I can list the five principles of Dalton's atomic theory. Those are my five principles. The first one is all matter is made from atoms. That is the first principle. What is matter? Well, matter is anything that has mass and volume. Anything that has mass and volume is the definition of matter. So, if you're asking yourself, what is matter? Ask yourself, does it have mass? Can you touch it? Can you weigh it? Can you move it? Yeah. You also want to ask yourself, does it have volume? Does it take up space? Can it fill up a container? Does it have mass and does it have volume? If the answer to both of these questions is yes, then we can consider it matter. Now, atoms. What are atoms? Atoms are like the ultimate indivisible particle. Now, around 400 BC, we had a Greek philosopher, his name was Democritus, and he invented the concept of a particle so small that it could not be broken down into anything smaller. Democritus called this particle atomus, which means uncuttable or indivisible. So ever since atomos, or the atom, was thought of as the fundamental particle of all matter. Atoms of the same element are identical. That is the second major point of Dalton's atomic theory. So here we have water and carbon dioxide. Um, carbon dioxide uh, contains oxygen atoms, which is the red atom. Water also contains an oxygen atom. And these two oxygen atoms, even though they are inside different elements, they're identical. They're the same. An oxygen atom is an oxygen atom, no matter in which compound you find it. Oxygen is oxygen. The next major pillar of Dalton's atomic theory, atoms of different elements are different. They may seem, that may seem obvious, but... To clarify, uh, this is a carbon dioxide molecule. It has two oxygen atoms and it has a carbon atom. That oxygen atom, if it were by itself, it would ignite when um, put on a flame. As oxygen is a very flammable element. But that carbon atom, if that carbon atom were by itself, then it will look like that black powder. So, even though the carbon atom and the oxygen atoms are in the same compound, they are completely different elements. They're completely different atoms. The oxygen atom compared to the carbon atom are not the same. The next major pillar of Dalton's atomic theory is that atoms of different elements combine in simple whole number ratios. So here we have ammonia, which has three hydrogen atoms and one nitrogen atom. The ratio of hydrogen to nitrogen is three to one. Carbon dioxide, oxygen to carbon ratio is two to one. In water, the hydrogen to oxygen ratio is 2 to 1. This is supposed to be a 2 uh, because I have 2 hydrogens and 1 oxygen. So disregard this 3. This is supposed to be 2 to 1. And finally glucose. 6 carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and 6 oxygen atoms in the glucose molecule. Uh, glucose is um, a sugar. So the ratio is 6 to 12 to 6. When you reduce that down to the simplest terms, the ratio is 1 to 2 to 1. So atoms combine in compounds in simple whole number ratios. The law and of the conservation of matter, matter states, states that, that atoms cannot, cannot be, be created, created or, destroyed. or destroyed. They can, they can only, only be rearranged, rearranged in a chemical, in a chemical reaction. reaction. Let's look at Let's the chemical, look at the chemical reaction, reaction where hydrogen, where hydrogen and, oxygen and oxygen combine, combine to, to form water. water. Now, now, we start with, start with four, four hydrogen, hydrogen atoms, atoms, and when we and add, we add two two oxygen, oxygen atoms, atoms and, and let them, and let them, let them react, react, 
that that gives, that gives us, us two, two water, molecules. water molecules. But but if we, if look, we closely, look closely, we still we have still four have hydrogen, hydrogen atoms, atoms, and we, and we still, still have two oxygen, oxygen atoms. atoms. So, so nothing, was, nothing added, was added. Nothing, nothing was, taken was taken away. Taken away. Atoms aren't, aren't created, created or, destroyed. or destroyed. They were only rearranged in, in this chemical reaction. reaction. And that is and that the law, is the of, law conservation of conservation of matter. matter. 